What are you doing, bud? I need to network my gaming PC. My Wi-Fi is kind of spotty, and I was gonna run Ethernet over here, but my wife oh. keeps telling me I can't leave cables on the floor for people to trip on. So what, you're gonna put them in the walls? Yeah. Well, Colton, your walls are already full of cables. Oh. This is really cool. Obviously, Colton's right. In a perfect world, we would run ethernet cabling through the walls to every desired endpoint in the home. It's fast and cost-effective. At least, it is for new construction. Depending on when your home was built, it may simply not be viable to network up your house with Cat5e or Cat6 cabling. Even if Wi-Fi isn't an option for your house due to its size, composition, or proximity to noisy neighbors, there are other solutions. Your walls might not have network cabling in them, but they are chock full of other kinds of cabling, some of which are capable of carrying network data with the appropriate adapter. So we're gonna take a look at two of the most popular options, Powerline and Mocha, and see which one works best for Colton. And we're gonna see what works best to tell you about our sponsor. Simple MDM. Simple MDM is a ridiculously simple Apple device management tool for IT. Enrolling your company's Apple devices and keeping them up to date doesn't have to be frustrating. Try it for free for 30 days on unlimited devices at simplemdm.com slash Linus. The two solutions we're gonna be comparing today are Mocha, which uses those coax cables that you might have in your walls from when people still had cable TV, and Powerline, which uses your power lines. They both offer similar performance at two and a half gig and two gig respectively. They both operate using similar principles, that is to say using RF signaling over the existing wiring in your walls, and they both have a similar cost since it's less likely to be susceptible to interference from a dirty power grid or say high draw or misbehaving appliances within the home. Fortunately, I think that's gonna work for us today because you happen to have a coax jack here and since Colton used to have cable internet, there should be a coax cable next to your modem. Let's go have a look. Yes. Do you want me to move my stuff out of the yeah, way? Yeah, first things first, let's get this exercise bike that, let's see how let's see how big the layer of dust is on the bike. It's not that bad, I just, we just cleaned everything here. It's not that bad. Oh, so not because you use it, but because you cleaned it. No, I don't use that. I, know, I was like, way to make it, way to, way to reinforce what he's saying. This is to show that I could exercise and that I have an interest, I just don't. So oh it's to show God. that you have no excuse. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cool, I did try to vacuum over here though. Less dog hair than last time. Although these things are really cool for cable management. I bought off, I bought them off Amazon. Let's see how much hair they take in though. Oh, it's not bad. Look, that's way better than it used to be. This is an improvement from every other video we've ever done together. Yes. Yes. Wait, where is your coax? Oh my gosh. Okay, my coax used to be inside of here, but then the you have fiber us. now. Yeah. So where's your coax? Probably in there. It used to be in there. I think it's in the box outside. Lions, this is a nice screwdriver. Where'd you get it from? LTTstore.com. Oh, I don't have good news, folks. There's just a little, it's like in there, the little fiber guy. I don't want to pull. Uh oh, it's this is bad. There's a lot of resistance. Yeah, can I just see? Yeah, you take a look. This could be bad. Okay. What, what is on the other side of this wall? The garage? garage? Oh, crap. Well, we need to find it. Okay, okay. Sounds good. We're heading to the garage. All right. Oh no, my garage is gonna be on camera. Nice Tesla charger, how's your uh, Model 3? It's totaled. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> unbelievable. I didn't know if you were gonna say anything there. What an unbelievable person. What are you doing? You moving that out of the way? I... Do you need a flashlight? I have some news for you. What's the news, brother? The news is that I found your coax cable. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Oh, so they literally pulled it out of the wall. Oh. Yeah, this is it. Oh, nice. So here's your fiber line, which we should definitely not pull on then because there's not a lot of slack. Oh, no, it might be this one. It's this one. Yeah, it's that one. Here's your fiber line then. And here is the coax cable that used to go through this hole. <laughs> Very nice. How many holes do you want to put in the wall today? <laughs> oh, however many we need to. Go for it, anything for content. <laughs> Do we just have to drill a hole through the thing yeah, or what? Like with yeah. Oh, that's fine. And sure. do you have some cock? Yeah. Oh, that, oh yeah, yeah, that's what you mean. Yes, 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 yes. Like A-U-L-K? <laughs> as long as we land. Isn't there space do between you, this wall and the next wall? Yeah, like do you want it to come out in the room? Yeah, though? yeah. There's, there's like, there's like, it's like 
Yeah, I know it's not. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna go. <laughs> but are you going all the way through the wall? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. Let's go have a quick looky boo at the other side. No, drill first then. <laughs> drill. <laughs> yeah, Linus, Linus, you go on the other side, buddy. I'll start we'll knocking. <laughs> I'll start knocking. You just aim for my hand. What could go wrong? No, please don't do that. This is great because you're just gonna put a plate here. So the hole, like it doesn't even have to be accurate. Oh, you, we just go? We don't yeah. think there's anything else behind there? What if there's plumbing behind there? Just Linus? like plumbing to what? <laughs> just <give> it. <laughs> okay, all right. You got the spot? Hold on, I need my glasses. Yeah, I need my goggles. What, you got glasses on. What are you, I know. What are you talking about? It's for safety. Right spot, Colton, God. Okay, I got it, got it, got it. Okay, like okay, right about right there. there. Right. Yeah. yeah okay. okay, I'm gonna wait for it on the other side. I'll turn on my camera. All right, sounds good. Okay. All right, buddy. You ready, David? Yeah. All right, three, two, one, drill. Ah, there it is. <laughs> oh, that's some damage. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> hey, Linus. <laughs> so you should have drilled halfway through the wall and then this half through the wall because you just changed the whole track. You did a great job, great job, Colton. Did you poke the cable through? No. Oh, you're gonna, well, you, you I mean, we just oh want a hole in the wall. God, I mean, we can dude. make more holes in the wall, Holy Colton. Holy crap, buddy. Hi. Whoa, okay, hold on, hold on. You're, you're close, you're close. One sec, one sec. No, no, don't move, don't move. I'm not moving. Uh, okay, put it back where it was. Uh, the f what does that mean? I don't know, twist it. Try twisting it. Twist it? Okay, push. Oh yeah. Yeah, got it. Let's go. Fun fact, by the way, you can still have cable TV and cable internet and Mocha. It's just that the more devices that you have running on your coax lines, well, the lower the performance might be. My understanding is that if you have Dish, it uses the same frequencies as Mocha, so you could run into trouble, but in most cases, it should be fine. Hey, Colton, you got an ethernet cable? Also, we need the power adapter for this. I will have to find it. Oh, wait, no, it includes one. Hey! Hey! Oh. Sounds good. Wow, that is not a particularly confidence-inspiring Ethernet cable, but that's fine. It'll do gigabit. It will do gigabit. What you're looking at then is the fiber line coming in from the street, going into our modem, router, Wi-Fi combo unit. Then, just like you would normally plug in a computer, we've plugged an Ethernet cable into the back of it, and instead of running the other end to the PC, we're running this end to our Go Coax adapter, which converts it from Ethernet to Coax. Now we just gotta put one of these on the other side. This has built-in mocha! Oh, that's sick! We actually don't even need the second adapter then. We can put this one on the other side. That just saved us 50 bucks. Hold on a minute. I mean, well, um. <laughs> I don't know what standard of mocha that supports, so I'm probably gonna wanna come back and test it with these on both sides after. But let's try it like this and just see what happens. After you roasted our PCs, I went ahead and cleaned my computer. You're Look at the insides. You're calling this clean? Cleaner. Oh my God, it's like gonna light on, it's lint gonna light is gonna on fire. light on Same. fire. I bought that off Amazon, it's Amazon Basics. No, that's not what I mean. I just mean all the like lint next to it. Oh yeah. Like a spark, that's basically Tinder. What are you doing with Tinder? Stir? Tinder? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> so just all the cringe. <laughs> Now we're looking at basically the same thing on the other side. That coax cable from the other room goes into the main distribution hub for the house, and then there's another cable that runs from there over to yeah. Unfortunately, hmm, we're actually not getting indicator lights for either our LAN connection to the PC or Mocha. And this is where things get a little bit dicey. Think about it. If you were using a technology like Mocha in say, for example, an apartment building, what would prevent everyone else in that building from getting access to your network? Nothing. Thankfully, we've got encryption. So we're gonna be using MPS, which is for Mocha Protected Setup, to essentially pair our Mocha adapters by having them share the same encryption key. It works in much the same way that WPS does for Wi-Fi. Check power LED is solid, LAN LED is blinking. Um, yeah, no, this should be working. Can I have another one of these go coaxes, just in case? I don't know if any of this troubleshooting is going to make it into the video. Maybe a Floatplane exclusive or something. Yeah, okay. Floatplane.com. But, dude, I think your LAN port is dead. You got drivers and everything. It doesn't light up. But I plugged in just my USB-C network dongle, and immediately the LAN light goes on. So oh, wow. Okay. We can try just reinstalling your drivers. In the meantime, I want to get Mocha working. So yep. I'm just going to use 
this. At least it should be that simple to add devices once we've got our network configured. In order to configure our network, we first have to reset our device, which is very easy, obviously, you can see that. Just gotta poke this hole for 10 seconds. When the thing is inside a tiny little recessed hole, it doesn't need to be held for 10 seconds, manufacturers. That's not gonna get hit by accident. Hey, there we go. Go Coax, by the way, isn't the only brand of Mocha adapters. They just happen to be the one that we're using today. Within the control panel, the most important things you're gonna set are a new password for the admin control panel itself and new encryption keys for the D-band Mocha that we're using. So we're gonna go ahead and go coax is the old one. And then I'm also gonna set a static IP. The better way to set a static IP is through your router, not through the device, but I'm lazy and this is Colton's house. Now we reboot the device. If you borked your network settings and it doesn't work, well, you can always factory reset it and try again. Before you panic though, don't forget to go back to the network adapter that you configured manually and set it back to DHCP. Now we've made our way into the dashboard for the TELUS router and there is no obvious way to use MPS, so I give up. Colton can just spend another $50 and we're gonna use a second Go Coax box on the other side. What's the, what's the conclusion here, guys? I'm not gonna try to use the built-in Mocha on your router. Oh, okay. I'm just, you're just gonna buy another one of these. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, cool. <laughs> this is the part where we find out if Colton's house is even Mocha compatible at all. What, some of the wiring in these walls is just, let's say, very random. <laughs> like, these cables may not actually go back to a central location, and if they don't, we're hooped. Is there any indicator that it's doing anything? Yeah, if the mocha light turns blue. Uh, the mocha light is not on at all. It's not on at all. Yeah, this could be bad. It's hey, not Colton. great. Hey, Colton, we might have put a hole in your wall for no reason at all. <laughs> Well, that's okay. It, it was fun. It's all about the journey, not the destination. Yeah. Something, but it, in this case, it was about the destination, but we didn't get there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're defeated. If you have working cable, internet, or TV in your house, you shouldn't run into a problem like this. But it seems like Colton's cable box here, um, it requires a tool that is only $3, but we simply don't have to open it up and check. Thankfully, we did do a test before we came here, and while Mocha does add some additional latency, it's more consistent compared to Wi-Fi, which is better for gaming, and it's wicked fast. The thing to note though, is that if you add more than two Mocha adapters to your home, they function like a hub, meaning that each transmission goes to every other node on the network, meaning that there can be a lot of overhead, so that advertised two and a half gigabit gets consumed pretty fast as you start to scale beyond three, four, or five devices. Powerline, which is what we're going to attempt now, works in much the same way, but is a little more flexible because you can put it anywhere with a power plug, as long as they're all going through the same breaker. And the speeds at two gigabit per second are at least hopefully comparable and definitely enough for us where we only need the two endpoints. Let's go try it. From my previous experience with it, Powerline is a lot more plug and play. Basically, you take this here thing, you plug it into, Darn it, Colton! What happened? There's no extra power outlet. Ideally, you wouldn't run it through a power strip, and I'd really like to have one of these. Um, do you have two power strips here, Colton? Yeah. Oh my God, you have so many things plugged in. I do. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> Is there another power outlet? No, not easily oh. accessible. What's up? Just unplug something. What's your deal? Yeah, I mean, well, you know what? Really? I don't even care anymore. What? Here you go, Colton. Was that my monitor? Boom. Oh. Boom. What was that? Don't even trip. And Bob. just like that? Wait, what? Is this actually how this works? Yes, this is actually how this works. Oh right, my Ethernet port's dead. What a what a wow. You can do a lot of things. Now we're going in here. No cables across the hall. Let's go. Oh God, we really did put an extra hole in your wall, Colton. <laughs> Uh, it's okay. We're just gonna put wood filler on it. It'll be okay. Wood filler? Yeah, wood filler. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. Or we'll hang a painting. <laughs> we'll hang a, a little painting. one. World's smallest. <laughs> you know what? It's not my house. What? Hey. Hey. Wait. What? Don't worry about it. What's going on? What Don't are you doing? Don't worry about it. There. Wireless interwebs. Yeah. I'm well, sorry. wired interwebs. Yeah, wired. But with different wires. Yeah, this is so much better than Wi-Fi. <laughs> I'm serious, I've used this stuff before. It can be great. Colton's just cursed. 
We even upgraded his Wi-Fi once. You remember that? That was a whole video. It was. And that was it. It really was that simple. This whole video could have been 30 seconds long. Let's go. <laughs> no, no, enough. <laughs> Yo. All right. This is gonna be basically exactly the same. Not that we even did a before test because that doesn't matter. But that's, you probably that's, have 100 dead. Yep, that's, yeah, that's okay. close to what it was. This is where things get impressive. Now remember how our ping times were all over the place before, jumping yep. up to 20, 25 milliseconds. Look at that. Just 10. Steady yeah. as she goes. That's the benefit of a wire. Hmm. Wanna throw a cup of water in the microwave and fire it up? I'm curious. Are we actually, oh yeah? We're throwing yeah. something in the, okay. Throw, throw, uh, yeah. Yeah, make yourself at home, Tanner. I will. I get basically everything about his life right. No, you don't. I, I game all the time. You told me I wouldn't game. I just neglect my family and I oh, game. okay. Well, I just thought you were better than that. <laughs> okay, I, like, I did right. give you hey, the right the answer. Nothing changed, all right? Your point is made. The yeah, microwave, this is awesome. We can microwave and game at the same time. Freaking awesome, right? That is pretty sick. So, I have a dumb question. And maybe don't include this in the video if it's a really stupid question. Who's our sponsor? <laughs> it would have been a great segue. I <laughs> kind of hoped you were going there. How much difference is it going to make when I game saving 10 milliseconds? It's not about the 10 milliseconds. It's about the difference. Mm. It's about the inconsistency. And the got thing it. you got to remember is that these are really, really basic pings. Not that often. When you're gaming, the data stream is much more frequent. And you might have something else going on in the background. Maybe you've got comms going in the background as well. Well, that's gonna screw with it. So you're streaming to me, you're watching a video, still consistent. Got it. Whereas if get I was- one little jump there, but that's it. Now we're gonna switch back over to Wi-Fi. Okay. Oh shit, your Wi-Fi is actually <laughs> lower Wait. latency. What? How could this possibly be more consistent? Okay, it wasn't though. This was garbage when it you was, tried it earlier. Yeah, it was bumping up to like 25. What is the point of even trying to make tech tips? <laughs> well, that's the thing about wireless, is that it seems to be working great, and sometimes it does work great. But I swear to you, three hours ago, this was jumping up to like 25 plus milliseconds quite frequently. Can confirm. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, we actually did get, we got a jump to 50 milliseconds. That's what I'm talking about. When that happens in a firefight, that sucks. You will feel that. Okay. Okay. All right, hold on. We're switching back over to the power line. I'm not done yet. Huzzah! Just like with Mocha, by the way, you're gonna wanna make sure that if you're in a space where you might share power lines with someone else, whether it's an apartment, a duplex, or even a commercial building, you're gonna wanna set up encryption on that network so that not just anyone can plug in a power line adapter and have it work. For both standards as well, there are multiple generations of the technology, and while in theory they should be forwards and or backwards compatible, that's not always the case, so I would recommend matching adapters for the best possible results. In our case, this is looking pretty good. Why don't we load it up a little heavier? Uh, let's get another Twitch stream going. Sure. Okay, who else do we like to watch? Uh, Summit 1G, let's go. Wow, are we using 25% CPU watching Twitch? <laughs> oh, a lot more than that. Okay, cool. And we're using about half of your internet connection. We are seeing some spikes, 20, 27. Now let's switch over to Wi-Fi. Yeah, they oh. all just cut, yeah. They all cut okay. out. <clears throat> our pings are going through okay, but our Twitch streams, mm. did this one just go down in quality too? Mm, shouldn't have. No? Yeah, shouldn't have. Wireless is bad and you guys know it. You've all experienced it. Just like you've experienced the segue to our sponsor. FreshBooks. Now I'm gonna go ahead and guess that you're not an accountant, which is why you're gonna love this software. It's built for freelancers and small business owners who don't have time to waste on invoicing, accounting, and payment processing. In fact, FreshBooks users can save up to 11 hours a week by streamlining and automating pesky admin tasks like time tracking, following up on invoices, and expense tracking with features like the new digital bills and receipts scanner. Over 24 million people have used FreshBooks and love it for its intuitive dashboards and reports, and it's easy to see at a glance exactly where your business stands. And it's even easier to turn everything over to your accountant come tax season. 
94% of FreshBooks users say it's super easy to get up and running, and with award-winning support, you're never alone. So try FreshBooks for free for 30 days, no credit card required, at freshbooks.com slash Linus, and get started today. So what will you do with those 11 more hours each week? If you guys enjoyed this video, you might enjoy the last time I was here critiquing Colton's house, um, when we put in his wireless setup that he took out and replaced with a different one. <laughs>